Ah, the final day of 2021, and it is the tail end of the third week that I've had traps in the ground. I've got probably about a third to a half of my line out, and of those, only about a half of them are operational. When I set traps, I talked about how the weather has been crazy wet. It was frozen, gonna be frozen for a couple of days then, and since then it has thawed out and we have continued to get rain. Anywhere from about a half an inch to an inch every four days or so. And it has been tough to keep traps going. We do have some freezing coming up next week, but it's been, it's been rough going so far. That said, with as few of traps and, and sets that I have out, it hasn't been terrible. Awesome. First coyote of the year on the board. Gotta love that. Christmas coyote. Hey, pup. Hey, pup. Don't have you by much, do I? Sweet meat, guys. First coyote of the year on the board here in Northwest Ohio. Back foot, uh, that's got to be a first for me. In fact, I know it's a first. Back foot on a dirt hole set and uh, don't have him by a whole lot. Obviously, he came over, came to pee on the set and uh, put his back foot down in the set and nailed him. So I'm going to go ahead and dispatch him. In fact, and then I'll talk about this particular setup and what I got going on here. Um, just because I don't have him super great, I'm just going to go ahead and take care of him right away. So pretty awesome. Pretty awesome, gotta love it. Go ahead and see what kind of, uh, what the gender it is. It is a female, even better yet. All right, so coyote is dispatched. Now I wanted to just go over what kind of setup we have here because I did not video uh, when I was setting this, this particular piece up. But we've got a big, big old stream that runs, oh, kind of north and south. Um, and then right at the stream here, right at the sets, we got a big old bridge, big old cement bridge here. And uh, last year, I think I was scouting this out, and there was coyote scat all over the place. So knew that they were traveling it quite a bit. They actually come out, there's a big old swamp piece of ground right here, and they hunt that. In fact, uh, if you watched one of our coyote hunts from last year with Jarrett Crew, he killed a coyote out of that out of that swamp there's the tower blind that he killed out of is right up in that general area but obviously they're hunting rabbits and birds and whatever is in that swamp area and they're coming out and uh, working this creek feeding on mice birds so on but anyway so knew it was a good spot after last year and uh, wanted to set it got permission to set it and over here i have a mark zagger pipe dream set here when the weather clears next week, hopefully next week, I'll go ahead and do a video on how I'm setting that. Um, but for now, that's my Mark Zagger pipe dream set. Show it to you here real quick. Got the trap set right there, about oh about eight nine inches back and three to the right. There's my PVC pipe with bait in the hole. I actually thought that set might be the first one to hit simply because of the wind directions that we've kind of had here recently, some southwest winds. However, I think, uh, in fact, last night I think we had a northwest wind, so which would render that one just as good as they come up from the south and feed along this ditch. But nonetheless, we catch a coyote on the west side of this bridge and uh, awful happy about that. Awful happy about that. So. He kind of made a mess of my set, um, no blood to speak of, so I'm going to go ahead and probably just reset right there. A lot of times I will reset off right off the edge of the fight circle, but I think I might just go ahead and reset that one right there. Scatter some of this chaff out and uh, should be good to go for hopefully another coyote. Trap is reset. I wanted to show you guys the actual trap set. This is a modified dirt hole.
might be a little bit hard to tell, but essentially what we've got is my trap is set right here. Hole is dead center of the trap. What happens is that coyote, when he comes in, he or she comes in, all this other ground is level. Once they commit, they have to step down onto the trap pan in order to get what's in that hole. And what that causes is much higher catches. We went to this set, or I went to this set probably 15 years ago, thanks to Kevin. I was losing some coyotes, um, toenail catches, and you're still going to have some of those with this set, but I've cut those uh, coyotes getting loose and getting out of the trap way down. Those instances have gone way down since I started using this set. Again, because what happens is once that coyote commits, it's not like a flat set um, where you're going you're gonna to catch coyotes, no doubt, but they're gonna, when they commit, they have to commit. And they put all their weight down on that set because it's lower than the rest of the ground. Looks like kind of like an animal dug a hole right there. And they're gonna place their paw, one paw on the trap pan while they go to reach and start digging with the other paw. So get a lot higher catches this way. But again, normally I, I might set off to the side, but for this particular time, I'm gonna go ahead and set right at the fight circle just move some of the chaff out of the way so it's not such a big, big eye appeal, but it's still a good size eye appeal. Got her scent all over the place, and uh, the hole is rebaited and relured, and we'll see if we can catch another one. I knew I'd have him today. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, he's a pretty red, too. Sweet stuff, guys. Mr. Red Fox waiting for me in the trap set this morning, and I had a really good inclination that this morning I was going to catch him. Yesterday when we were checking this farm, we got about 400 yards back. This lane comes off the, off the road probably half a mile, and we got about 400 yards back and bumped him out of a brush pile. So I had a feeling that he was going to... Uh, eventually work his way down here. In fact, I think he was down here the night prior um, because when we got to the trap set, my trap was flipped out of the ground and it was upside down. Now, thinking, thinking back to that evening, we had an easterly wind, which would have been blowing from me, where I am right now, to where the red fox is. So, thinking back how they hunt and how they work for food, he would have been on the other side, the western side of this particular set, smelled the trap, or the bait and lure and dug on the wrong side of the trap probably caught his toenail on the pan flopped the trap out and uh, no harm no foul in that instance and what that kind of tells you is that as long as that trap doesn't snap off in their face you can still catch that animal and i had a pretty good inclination that when i got here this morning um, i was going to have him because i obviously reset the trap rebedded the trap put it in there firmly and boom Red Fox here this morning. So gonna go ahead and dispatch him and I'll actually probably come back this afternoon once this weather and fog clears off a little bit. Uh, I got a couple other things I gotta do here during the midday. I'll come back here and reset it. And we may catch the mate to this one uh, tomorrow, hard saying, but first red of the year. Now we need to get more coyotes going. Um, weather is gonna change here in about four days, but we've gotta work through some more more rain here this weekend and as you can see last night we got a little bit of snow uh, most of it has melted off since then but pretty cool nice red fox so yeah despite the less than ideal trapping conditions and only having about a third to a half of the line out it's not been a terrible start to the trapping season and I think we have some good weather that's going to be a little bit more ideal coming in here in a couple of days but here on the last day of 2021 I think we're going to end this year and start the new year off with a catch I think we caught something whoa whoa here we go guys last day of 2021 and we've got a beautiful coyote here in the old hay, hay set. Um, basically what we've got, we'll talk about the set a little bit real quick and, and why I set this particular spot. We've got a, a lane that goes east and west and then cuts to the north. 
to the south, you've got a crop change. So it's kind of a four-way. Those animals are going to hunt and look for mice up and down this lane and hunt the crop change as well. The landowner has been getting a lot of pictures of coyotes, hearing coyotes, and occasionally seeing coyotes, and asked if I could come and put a couple sets in. So about two weeks-ish ago, I came over, put a dirt hole. It is to the south and east of Mike, who's running the camera right now. And then over on this side, on the northwest corner of this intersection, I put a big old hay set, big eye appeal. And, uh, you know, most of the time, you'll see people put in two traps into the hay set. I only actually ran one on this particular spot. We got a beautiful high catch on a nice coyote. Great way to end 2021. Uh, we got a couple more traps to check, but we're going to go ahead and dispatch this, this guy here, um, reset it, and see if we can catch another one over the course of the next couple days. But good way to end 2020. Gang, if you remember last week's trapping video, I put in this hay set. Um, it's been here for just over two weeks now, and we finally got a commitment, got a predator, nice coyote, to uh, come in and work the set and get caught. He's obviously extremely tired because I do have him in two traps, so he's probably been working those uh, ever since I caught him. But um, really dark coyote in color. We don't see too many of those around this part of the nation. I've seen one other one that was about this dark, um, but we don't have any black ones like North and South Carolina, but still a beautiful coyote. Uh, good to get, get the traps going here in the last day, on the last day of 2021. We'll see what 2022 brings. Um, we've got a weather change coming again, more rain tomorrow, switching to snow and some freezes um, over the course of the next week. But uh, good way to end this year and Hopefully in the next year brings us some more luck on the trap line. Rain, 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 rain.